Congratulations on finding us like a needle in a haystack. Just the mere fact that you found this page shows us how serious and committed you are in finding a way to pursue success in every aspect of your life. By success, we do not refer to a life without challenges or a life of financial success. You landed on this page because you want a life or you want to live in accordance with your deepest aspirations for your brief stay on this planet. Whether you are a partner, a parent, a worker, a student, a teenager, etc., all of us care for something. How to use the one asset that is non renewable? The time we spend in these important roles. You're here because you want to know how One Life Only Counseling Services can help you in your pursuit of becoming the best version of yourself and to understand what makes our approach different. Here's what we think we can offer. A move towards a psychology of the normal. Our basic assumption, countercultural and counterintuitive. No labeling. Answering some of the important questions you may have when you seek counseling. And finally, journeying with you. Let's take these one at a time. A move towards a psychology of the normal, not the abnormal. Most of mainstream, mainstream psychology has focused on the 20% that are said to be suffering from some abnormal psychological state. Is it any wonder that there is a stigma around seeking help for psychological concerns? You, seeking a counselor or therapist? Well, you just counted yourself in as one of those poor souls who need help. Too bad, you're crazy. There is an entire generation that believes there is something wrong with them, biologically, e.g. chemical imbalance, or historically, e.g a difficult childhood, when they struggle with difficult thoughts and emotions. The current system of mental health is similar to a doctor telling a patient that it, he only has to exercise when he develops diabetes. This is the result of a system that biomedicalizes normal human mental processes. In fact, we call it mental health instead of mental resiliency or flexibility for this reason. An entire generation, this is a quote, has grown up with a commercially useful but scientifically false idea that experiencing mental struggles means you have a specific biologically based brain dysfunction. As a result, Consumers are less interested in psychotherapy, regardless of what the data suggests. This is from Hoffman, Hayes, and Norshi. By data here, we mean the studies have shown that psychotherapy works just as well, if not better, than medication alone in the long term. Well, here's the data. From 1998 to 2007, People using only talk therapy, down 50%. People using talk therapy with medication, down 30%. People using medication alone rose to two out of three people, or around 70%. Data from Olfson and Marcus. These data are from the U.S., I have no information with regard to the Philippines, but you and I know that by just looking around, we are headed in the same direction. Our basic assumption, open quote, 
we don't assume that left to their own devices, hum normal human beings are happy and that only an odd history or a broken biology disturbs the peace. Close quote. By odd his history, we mean a difficult childhood or any difficult past experience. By broken biology, we mean a chemical imbalance that we often hear. Open quote, we assume instead that suffering is normal, and it is the unusual person who learns how to create peace of mind from Hayes and Smith. The secret is we all have the same secrets, as Dr. Stephen Hayes would often say. We all have this something in between our ears that if we don't rein in, can get in the way of our own success as partners, spouses, children, parents, workers, executives, students, etc. Our philosophy or how we view people and our pursuits. It is consistent and pragmatic, so you don't get confusing messages about what it is that is going on inside of your most difficult inner experiences and how it is that you can handle them better. It has something to do with how we view human nature in its innate wonder and beauty. This is our philosophy. This is the perspective we take when we see you. No labeling. What are the usual side effects of labeling? It makes clients feel like their problems are simplistic, makes clients feel threatened, makes clients feel there is something wrong with them and something in them is broken and needs repair, makes clients feel like less of a human being, makes clients want to take shortcuts, e.g. unnecessary medication. This is taken from Hoffman, Hayes, and Lorshi. Answering some of the important questions you may have when seeking therapy. How can you freely choose your way towards unsettling and yet meaningful risks in the form of open and honest communicating to the important people of your life? How can you remain kind in the face of irritation with your household members when you get home tired from work? How can you take on new challenges that come to visit your important relationships? Perhaps people have betrayed you, disappointed you, or hurt you. How can you risk sharing your thoughts and feelings honestly and openly to your colleagues at work or loved ones at home, even with a history of rejection judgment, or shaming from your family or in past working environments? How can you handle strange thoughts and images when they arise so they don't get in the way of the things that truly matter to you? These are some of the questions you ask or come to mind when you come to therapy. And that's what we hope to give you the answers for. Finally, the journey with you. Counseling or therapy sessions are like you and your therapist or counselor, finding your way up your respective mountains. And within a brief moment in the therapy room, your counselor interrupts his climb to focus on helping you see from a different perspective your side of the mountain. It's like a drone shot of what's ahead of you. Only this drone does not have to leave your side. Counseling or therapy is your attempt at fulfilling your deepest and most important aspirations for yourself, your career, your relationships, your health, and your life. It is an invitation to take a step towards not just feeling good, but living well. Because like climbing a mountain, 
life is not only about reaching the top, but also, and more importantly, about experiencing the climb. Let me end with this quote from Kierkegaard. Life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. By Soren Kierkegaard.